There's no doubt that electric power is here and it's only growing. Well, Vision Marine Technologies has recently come out with a 180 horsepower outboard motor and we're here to familiarize ourselves with it. Let's get on board this pontoon boat and check it out. So what I'm curious about is I've got seven people on this boat. Can it really get the boat up on plane and handle like a normal outboard? Let's see. And I should add that six of our passengers are sitting behind the camera. Three, two, one. Now, let me point out right away, this isn't a test. Rather, it's a familiarization ride and the start of boat test program to educate our members about this new technology. At this time, only prototype engines are available. And while we can confirm that whole shot times are as good or better than a standard 200 horsepower outboard, we'll wait for our formal test till an actual engine that can be bought by consumers comes off the production line. We've seen over a dozen electric outboard motors from startup companies, but building thousands requires a well-equipped factory, not a garage. And this is where Vision Marine has a big leg up on the emerging electric outboard motor startups. Vision Marine is partnering with Linamar Corporation, which has deep manufacturing capabilities in powered vehicle manufacturing and electrification solutions. It has 26,000 employees in 60 manufacturing locations worldwide. Further, it has just announced an agreement with a large lithium-ion battery manufacturer to supply battery systems at significant scale. Another thing that makes this French-Canadian company so unique in this emerging industry is that it has actually been making electric boats since 1995 and selling them worldwide. It even owns an electric boat rental company in Southern California. This 25-year background, plus its R&D and high-speed electric propulsion, gives the company an excellent head start at being one of the big players in the emerging electric outboard motor business. The CEO and chairman of the company is Alexander Mongen, and on our familiarization ride, we were able to find out more about his outboard motor propulsion system. So Alex, we now know that the motor works as we expect. It, the boat handles normally, it gets on plane normally. All of that is as we expect, but we do still have some questions. First of all, we don't have a fuel tank. We have batteries. Tell me about the batteries on the boat. The fuel tank used to be under our, our seat, and now we replace that section with our battery pack. Okay, so how long can we expect that to last? About 50 nautical miles, depending how you're driving and the numbers of passengers on the boat. Same thing as a, any other ice engine outboards, depending the weight capacity, the wind, and the weather condition. The system is very well built, actually to protect the cells and give you a very good uh, lifetime for your batteries. That will be equal to about 10 to 15 years of full usage, maybe 200 times a year. The electricity goes from the charger, then it goes to the battery. And when it's time to use the system, the battery gives the energy to the converter, and then the converter converts the electricity into a, um, an alternative motor that push our outboard. Basically, for 20 seconds, you're getting around 215 horsepower. But we're selling the real continuous power compared to the other guys in the industry. This system that we're selling now, it's a 180 horsepower continuous. So be aware of that. There's a, a lot of people who are selling you the peak, so it won't last for long. It will last about 20 seconds and then it will drop to continuously power. The only time that you're going to see a little bit of decreasing in horsepower is when you're hitting about 25 to 30%. You're going to lose about 5 to 10% of the full horsepower accessible for the motor. That system can be recharged on any dock worldwide using a regular short power 220, like the house we left from. It's an inboard charger, uh, 6 kilowatt single charger. It could be a double charger. Uh, it will take about uh, 7 to 8 hours to get fully charged. Uh, it's a smart craft system that gives you the state of charge uh, of the boat when it's on charge and at usage as well. So it's a pretty smart system. So you could be uh, mind free using your electric boat when it's uh, your family's using it or yourself or when it's on charge. When you're purchasing the Emotion Outboard, it comes with an inboard charger, a smart craft system, display screen light you get in a Tesla, uh, all the wiring. So it's a complete plug and play system. So I can plug into any 110 volt outlet in a house? 220 is much better. Okay. But um, it can be plugged on 110. Talk to me about the interface on the dash. It's a special interface 
made for us with all the application that you need when you're an avid boater as the map, the sound system, all the lighting, the state of charge, the usage, the kilowatt you're using at the speed. And it also gives you the range you're gonna achieve while you're using, uh, let's say, 10 kilowatt or 20 kilowatt. So as I'm looking at the screen, I'm actually seeing it continually update as I move the throttle to different positions. How far I can go at certain throttle settings, it's continually updating. Yeah, the screen is adapting to your driving skills. So may, may, meaning that at 20 miles per hour, it will give you the exact range you're going to be able to achieve. And as soon as the, the infrastructure in the marine industry provides some electric uh, charging um, location, they're also going to give you the next charging station where we are. So we're also working on that as we speak. And actually, the good thing with electric outboard, you're getting the full horsepower from 1 RPM to 5,500 RPM. And the thing is, you do know that if you lose a little bit of uh, battery density and you're losing a little bit of a horsepower, you're going to still always have that same horsepower at one, one RPM up to 5,500. I can't say I've ever seen anybody in an electric car do a jackrabbit start. The purchaser of an electric car, an electric boat, is a little bit more educated and sophisticated, and he doesn't have anything to prove to anyone because they're faster than anyone else. So the fact that, and they're also eco-friendly and responsible, so they don't need to burn energy anything, uh, uh, energy for nothing uh, by using the full power of it because they know what they have. It's not about testosterone, it's about being logical and smart using those systems. It's a lifestyle change. It is, and actually it's all about educating people. So so that's one of the reasons since 1995 we're building electric boats and we all reinvest our money made from the profit of ourselves into technology and be able to provide a better product for the environment. That's what I'm trying to do since 1995, and I think we're getting there slowly. I could figure that by 2025, we'll be about 1% of the, uh, the whole boating industry and the outboard industry. Last year in MMA uh, showed that the report from the outboard sold in North America was about 329,000 outboards sold, and I'm aiming for 1% of that by 2025. So we're educating people one boat at a time, and we're gonna get there. Torque, ease of handling, maneuverability, and most of all, the quiet. There are certainly a lot of things to recommend the 180 horsepower engine from Vision Marine Technologies. And that's my full inspection. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you quietly on the water.